So first of all, we want to kind of mark the area where we're going to put, kind of mark our territory. And see. Now the best way to template it out is the tarp you put underneath. So the tarp is clipped in the blower box. So you undo the blower box by these clips right here, and just lift the top of the box right off, and you'll find the, uh, all the domes. You have two big extension cords here um, uh, that you'll plug into, so depending on how long or run you need to run, um, you can use one or two. But in this case, we checked out yesterday, so we're going to have one extension cord for the fan and one extension cord for the main uh, equipment side of the building. So the main thing is pull up the tarp and uh, just lay it down here in the front of the door and then this. So, uh, un so look, fold it, unfold it, okay. and grab the other piece, unfold it again. So you can see it uh, keeps unfolding. Okay. Okay, you're going to take this one and pull it out one time here. It'll give you a, a good template for the dome. And you can see here the tarp is not going to be fully unfolded, so you can see the, the fold here. So basically, you, you're going to, if you had the tarp fully unfolded, you're going to bring it back one third. So you leave it here. So this is the template for the dome right here. So the full tarp comes back a third, and you can see the, the area you're going to use. A lot of times, if, uh, if, the, if it's dirty from the last time, this is where I'll sweep it up or what have you. But here's where you can go ahead and straighten the tarp off and get an idea of where you want the dome uh, to sit inside the room. Here the front of it's going to be. The next step here is you take the uh, dome itself out of the, the, uh, the, uh, the dome case and roll it out and then take it out of, out of the sheathing. And the whole idea is where you want to put the front of the dome here is where, the, where you're going to put the armor on and you just going to roll away. So if you have the door here, you roll this way if you want it a different direction. The door is center of mass. The right? door is center of mass. If you want to grab grab the outer edges of the lip there, uh, the, uh, uh, and then just go ahead and bring the dome back about a foot or so to the, the top of the dome. We near the edge of the tarp there, so let's give you an idea there. That's good. Lay down. Now here you unfurl the two people here, so you're gonna simply get one of the sides of the dome. So one person get on this end, one person get at the top, just like unfolding a fitted bed sheet. Just uh, okay, grab the outer lip, just grab. Up. There you go. Lay it out flat. Grab it the next lip, lay it on flat again. It works out better this way so that if you, uh, it doesn't kind of double mess, you can just drag it apart. Unfold it here in the center. There you go. Okay, and I'll grab it here again and unfold it again. And do the same thing on the other side. Or uh, post in. What's the minimum amount of people that can put this up? One. So put the fan to stage right here. Is the digitalis here? The little it's going to be at the top of the fan. So you can go ahead and here and just kind of wrap this hurting in the fan. Uh, wrap that around the, the face of the fan. So the uh, sometimes the bottom you can get better view if you do the bottom first. Kind of cup it around the bottom. The clips. Actually, you set, set up straight with the bean bag in the box right there and put the bean bag to counterweight. Now, if you had a hot day, whatever, you would hook the air conditioner up. You saw me hook that up yesterday, and I'll just do this for demonstration purposes. You just, it's all templated, so you just would follow the Velcro. This Velcro here. The whole idea is to direct the duct work, is the air from the air conditioner would go into the duct work here itself. I'm going to not lose the air. The air is, if the ambient air gets warm, we'll put the air conditioner up. We probably won't need it today. And uh, I usually just get here and it's tight or not. Just so you don't lose any air pressure here. Putting the fans on, so go ahead and turn it on. Go to number three. So as it blows up, 
as you know, it's just, here's the fiddle stage. So the fiddle stage is you want to keep the air duct as, uh, as uh, open as possible so the more air gets inside there. And also to try to keep the bottom lip, uh, the top and the bottom lip of the dome sealed so the air stays inside the dome. So we're going to let it blow up here for a little bit, get some air inside like blowing up a big balloon. You're going to fidget with this from time to time just as the balloon blows up. Okay, to keep the duct work clear. We're going to grab the dome from the back and we're just going to as every once in a while, pull the back of the dome. Uh, uh, of course, we're going to separate the circle and lift the dome. We're going to separate from the back and lift forward. So as it gets here, you can watch this here. Just kind of pinch it and grab it, and uh, just kind of shake it. Air, let the air work for you, and just kind of start pulling the bottom of the bed sheet, as it were, out of the dome. You don't have to do it overly too much. Uh, just uh, let it fill up and get some more. Now you can see here from the pulling of this, this is down low. Uh, I tried not to pull right here so much because it started just a little bit and I'm going to get this repaired. So just be mindful of the domes. Just try not to put as much a lot of pressure on the seams. When I can grab it, you kind of let the air kind of give it a little shake. And I'm just kind of you're just pulling that bottom fitted sheet part out from underneath the dome to kind of let the circle start filling up. Which is the projection system and the sound system. The other extension cord can be plugged in and uh, thrown in underneath the dome. So the other extension cord for all the power system can be plugged in and just uh, thrown under the lip of the dome. Up there. Okay, so we got the extension cord underneath. Okay, that's tossed inside. We've got some good spacing. We've got airflow here. That's blocked off. And uh, so we're good to go inside. The best way to ingress and egress out of this with a lot of stuff is simply lift the dome and go up underneath. So we're going to do that today. So who wants to drive, do the driving? Here, so just grab the skirt and just go up inside and go ahead and get it.